Hello, good afternoon. I'm back, Lutcher FM, with another Dynamo Tbilisi Georgia National Team Football Managers um, episode. And where you left us off last, we had a an amazing episode for for you lot. Um, the last two episodes, I think we had we managed to get qualification for Euros with the Georgia National Team, and also managed to win the title in the last game of the season, um, which was very surprising because I didn't expect us to be there but it was just things just happened and they all lined up nicely um sangarelli drew or lost i can't remember now against uh tel aviv and then we won our last game of season we just clinched the title by like about a point or something so yeah absolute amazing achievement for us um what i'm what i'm thinking of doing moving forward is um what i might do is just literally not play many of the domestic games on online and just do them offline and then what i'll do is the like the european games i think i'll play them on here so you can see how we get on in europe um but the main focus now with with dynamo is to try and do better in european competitions but also obviously continue to dominate in domestically so like i said moving forward i think i'll show you most of the like all of the European games and then one or two of the uh, domestic games, depending on how far we get in the season. Obviously, if we get knocked out of Europe, then I'll just show you the domestic games. But yeah, I just thought people might get a bit bored of watching me dominate in Georgia. Not that we dominated completely last season. We only just won the title, but I think moving on um, to make it more exciting for you lot, I think you'd rather see us test out the other teams in Europe and see how we get on there than watching me just dominate poor opposition in the Georgia League. And I don't mean any disrespect to any fans of the Georgian Football League. Um, but yeah, anyway, right, on that note, I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode, which will be uh, a league game. But then after that, I'll fast forward to the European qualification game. Right, so here we are. Um, before I start, though, I'm just going to show you some of the transfers that we've made. Um, he's not very good, not a good example, but we've made some that come in during the summer window, I think. Well, not, not, not the summer window, but basically the equivalent of the summer window. So this one's the first one. Uh, Kim Song Min, balance personality. Left winger, also striker, North Korean international, 27 years old, decent ish tribute, will probably do well for us here. Um, and then we've got Ruben Oliveira, who I think used to play for Nottingham Forest. What have they done here? Um, who used to play for Ben Pekin? Oh no, I'm thinking of a different Oliveira. We signed him from Tel Aviv. Um, trying to raid the domestic league for quality players. He seems like a really good player attribute-wise. Um, he's at, he's 29, so he's still got a few years left in him. I think he'd be pretty good signing for us, so that was that one. And then we've got uh, a Brazilian, because I love me some Brazilian players. Um, balanced personality, attacking midfielder, and also playing centre midfield. Um, Decent first touch and technique. Pretty good for this league, I reckon. And potential three and a half stars to four star. And let's have a look. This one I'm really excited about. Nika Elorizzi. Um, who do we sign him from? We signed him from uh, Sabatella. And uh, finance personality, which is a lot of Georgian players by the looks of it. Um, first touch is good, dribbling's good, technique's good, decisions is good, acceleration is good. He just looks like a really good player, especially for the Georgian League. Um, we've got another, another one here, uh, Kazakhstan yeah, Kasik, International, um, balanced personality again, striker with good finishing, first touch, dribbling, heading. Composure, acceleration, agility. So I think he'll be a fan favourite. Oh, another player signed from uh, a Georgian team. 
a youth prospect in the making, Georgie um, Hinter Hinterbidzi, fairly ambitious personality, plays as a striker, decent finishing and first touch, good head in, good off the ball, not the best acceleration or pace, where's pace? Pace is not very good, but a uh, decent poacher as long as we get the ball to him. The mean Korea, a bit of a African class player here. Uh, Senegalese, yet to be capped for Senegal. Um, striker again, we seem to be loaded up on strikers by the looks of it without realising. Not very good squad management by me. Um, good first touch, decent ish finishing, but that can be improved. Decent vision, off the ball, good agility, good acceleration, good pace as well. So a bit of a speed merchant. And then the last one is Maddy Fatty. I think I signed him. I mean, he's pretty good, but I think I signed him because I just I really liked his name, Maddy Fatty. Um, balanced personality, another striker. <laughs> um, Gambian player, not yet, not yet played for the Gambian national team. Good dribbling, good passing technique, uh, aggression, really good natural fitness. Pace is decent as well as acceleration. So yeah, so hopefully some of these will become cult favourites here at the club. But yeah, moving forward, we've got a first game of the season. I don't think any of our new players are in the first team in this game. Are any of them on the bench though? Uh, no. But I, I, there's probably a reason for that. But right, let's just see how we get on in our first game of the season. Yeah, so moving forward, I'm going to try and get the season done a lot quicker because I think the main focus on this save should be with the Georgia national team and how we do in um, the tournaments in there and then obviously how we do in Europe with Dynamo Tbilisi. I think an afterthought should really be the domestic league, especially when we're just easily beating teams here. We have got a debut, actually. Um, Turkish Kirkestaddy, who was one of my new signings I told you about. He's playing. But yeah, it looks like the same team as last season. We've managed to convince Loria to stay for another season. He was going to retire, but I've managed to convince him. I think that's the first time, one of the first times it's ever happened where I've managed to convince a player to stay, um, not retire. Yeah, first half coming towards an end. 1-0. Looks like a miserable pitch there to play on. Very foggy by the looks of it. Free kick to us, Romanovsky. Kirkaladzi gets fouled. Get a penalty by the looks of it. I can't imagine this not being a penalty. There we go. There's no VAR in the, in the Georgian League. I keep forgetting about that. So, Gordy with the penalty. Good finish. 2-0. Yeah, I want to try and uh, dominate the league very quickly so we can concentrate on the European games and not have to worry about retaining our title. We, we, just, we just want that to be um, the norm, basically. We just want to dominate every year domestically and then try and get a little bit better in the European competitions. I want to win a European trophy on this, in this save with, with Dynamo. Um, whether it's the Conference League, the Europa League, or, you know, pipe dream, really, but the Champions League, that's, that's what I want to do. I think that would be a natural end to the save if I do that. Lomanansi. Obviously, if I do it way quicker than I'm expecting to do it, I'll carry on. Um, this this save is going to be... This save and the Socio save are going to be the saves that I do now until FN25 comes out, which isn't that long now. It's only a few months to go. Um, but yeah, fresh saves of FM25. Anybody has any suggestions for teams for me to manage in FM25, either as my beta save or as a long-term save, um, any scenarios like youth only with a certain team or build a nation in a certain nation, let me know in the comment section. I would appreciate it. I might have another go with Georgia at some point. I think what I'm going to do is I'll have, on FM25, I'll have, Two main saves for YouTube 
um, for the first, say, six months of the year from when it comes out. And then I think from like February, March next uh, next year, I'll do two new saves. So I'm trying to keep keep it down to four saves uh, each version of Football Manager because I think it'll just be like annoying for people just to get invested in a save and then it it just gets cut off very quickly. Maybe I might have five saves because the beta save is never usually the main save, is it? So I might just pick a a random Premiership team like Crystal Palace or something as my first save on the beta version of FM24. And then when the full version comes out, I'll figure out by that point which team I want to manage. I'm thinking of maybe Lyon as one of my main saves in France, get them back to being the best team in France. I think that'll be a fun save to do the first six months of the uh, FM cycle um, and also it gives editors time to release databases because it takes a while for these databases to come out but um, anyway 3-0 win to us good way to start the episode um, let's have a look when is our first Right, so we've got quite a few league games and then we've got a couple of friendlies for the national team and a couple more league games. So what I'll do is I will I'll just fast forward a couple of games because I don't know when we start in the Champions League, I can't remember. So I'll uh, I'll fast forward to April and then I'll be back in a sec and we'll go through what happened in them games in April. Right, I'm back. So basically, I forwarded a month. Um, I realised that we're not playing in the Champions League until July, by the looks of it. And I think we've got Euros. So um, Euros with Georgia national team. So what I'm going to do is basically play a couple of more league games with the Georgia national team in this episode. Um, and then next episode, which will be out tomorrow, uh, tomorrow um, we'll have the Georgia will play the Georgia national team Euro twenty twenty four games, and we'll see how we get on with them. Um, and then the following episode to that, which will be next week, will probably be um us starting our European journey with Dynamo Tbilisi. So we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, so this is how we've done since the first game of the season. I forgot about us. We beat Sangarelli four 0 in the Georgia Super Cup. Um, before we played our first game that you just saw. Julia, Santis, Gordy and Ilizuri, uh, Ilizuri scored. I can't pronounce his name. Um, and then we beat... We, we, we went on a bit of a... Uh, we, we seem to be scoring three goals a game here, which is pretty good. So we won 3-0 against uh, a team called Polkeke. Um New sign-in, Proper Pento scored, Romanowski scored and Pachulia scored. So nice to see Popachenko. Uh, let's pronounce this team properly. Polk Hetty, 1913. There you go. And then we beat our rivals last season, Zangarelli, who were literally just, they were unlucky not to win the title, but lucky for us, we managed to nick it off in the last game of the season. Uh, Lomanazzi scored, Romanowski scored, and an own goal was the one that killed the game off and managed to win that one. And then we... Repeated the same score uh, against Dilia. Goals by Akuji, uh, new signing Kim Song Min and Pashulia. And then we lost the last game against local rival rivals. Um, Kadeti scored and Akuji scored, but we lost 3 2. We nearly scored, but I think that goal got disallowed. So, yeah, so not too bad. We are currently second. Um, so I'm going to play this game and hopefully we will win this and go back to being top of the league. Um, Korea's playing, Songmin's playing, Virginia's playing. Um, he's not a signing from, uh, he's not a new signing, but he's playing as well. Ruben Oliveira is playing for some reason, even though he's defensive midfield. So we are lacking in centre back. In fact, what I'm going to do is pull up some of my players from my reserves and. 121 players bulk out the first team. Hopefully, that means we can play a centre back there. So, let's try again. There we go. Just change it up a little bit. 
Um, Fidetti's in centre defence. We've got a player called Aya Fitzy, who I think is a centre back. Yeah, so he's making his debut, 22 year old. And then we've got Kalianzi as left back, uh, Cavaschella as right back. And then Lomanatsky, Osu Mashvili, um, Gonzalez Nogueira, Vidinio, Kim Song Min, and Korea. So you might see a few more non Georgian players in this team. Um, because I tend to do that, but I will always have a four of Georgian players in the team as well, because I like to try and have as many players in, from the set from the actual nation I'm playing in in the team, because it helps with like homegrown rules and stuff like that. So, plus the fans will get behind uh, a local player more than probably like a foreign player most of the time. There are exceptions. So anyway, let's crack on. First, a sec second game of the season, sorry. Well, second game we're playing, not the second game of the season. We've already played six games. Sorry, rambling on, trying to correct myself. Uh, right, first highlight. We are in possession. We're in the blue. Nice, nice, calm-looking blue. Carvar Shelia with the cross. Header that hits the post. This will probably be the end of the highlight. No, still got it. Asha Masvili gives it to Song Min. Beautiful pass. Shame it didn't go to the striker. Headed out. Now we now we break from the counter attack. No, we could have probably been a bit more forward thinking there. Anyway, Song Min slices through the defence. Kovacelia. There you go. Nogueira with his first goal of the season. It's nice to see some fresh faces in this lineup, actually, to be honest. Gives it a bit of um, fresh paint on it, basically. We won't forget about the, the boys that won us the title last year, though. They'll be still here. We just need to improve the team where we can to do better in Europe. And sometimes you've got to go and buy the best players you can, even if they're not Georgia players. Oh, Bettinio. Bettinio, um, I think he's going to be a cult favourite here. He just seems like a really good player. Same as uh, Nagera as well. I think these two are really good. Nagera. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Bit annoying. But anyway, we're still 1-0 up. We're back to being top of the league for now. We've got Torpedo and Dilia and um, the other team I can't pronounce banging on the door. There you go. Korea with his first goal of the season, but it won't be allowed because there's no VAR, so it'll be just disallowed. Which I actually don't mind. I'd rather that than put up with VAR, to be honest. Oh, nasty tackle there. Should be a penalty. Well, there is going to be a penalty because there's no VAR. Right, who's lining up to take this? Korea? No. Nogueira. Nogueira. Second goal of the game. 2 0. He's having a great game. Yeah, 2 0. Lomanazzi. Nagera. Harvard Shelia. Good goal by him. Oh. Oh my god, I've never seen that celebration before. I want him to score every time now if he does that. Even the Irish jig, I think. The Irish jig, is it called? I mean, I completely got that, might have got that wrong. It looks river dancing, that's what I meant, not Irish jig. Oh my god, look at this dominating performance. Nogueira with his hat trick. Right, 4-0. Coming up to half time. Absolute destroying this team. This is a team, we're playing a team that got promoted last season, so um, bear that in mind. We should be beating them very easily. Ayak Fidzi gives it to Virginia. Beautiful little pass in. Song Min's been way better than I thought he would be. <laughs> Stays pulled in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this at comment show now. Get 
this game done. We're already winning. This is why I don't really want to play the domestic games because they're just not very challenging and it's not very entertaining. I want to concentrate on the European games. If I play a big team in Georgia, then fair enough, like a local rival, like Torpedo, uh, saying that they're looking forward to now. Right, if I demand a bit more, hopefully they'll get another goal and we can kill the game off. Uh, let's see what else we can take off. Can we take you off? No. Oh, I'll just leave it. But yeah, we're definitely lacking in centre backs, which is quite concerning. Virginia with the debut goal. Will this end 5 2 or is there another goal in this game? A lot of yellow cards. Right, I think that's it. Yep, yeah, there you go. Lovely juggly 5 2 win. Yep, yeah, praise him, Gonzalez Nagera. Right, so what I'll do is I will. Actually, I forgot to show you how. We did in these friendlies with the Georgia national team. We won three one against Albania. Goals from um, Chak Vet Adzi, and then Quazash Vili and Yorba Bilitsi. Luckily, they bloody managed to call up Damadonna for these games. So at least there's that. Um, and then we drew nil nil against Greece. So right, so we've got. Couple of these games coming up now we've got the fourth which is not really that important so what i'll do is i'll fast forward to the 17th of the fourth where we play torpedo um and then we'll come back and we'll play that game and then i'll see i think that'll probably be might be it for this episode but i'll see how i feel in a second i'll do that i'll do this offline i'll be back in a second right we're back so yeah this this game coming up now will be the last game of the episode i know we've only played three games but we've obviously done quite a bit talked about quite a bit as well so um, but yeah, so anyway, um, we lost 3 1 to Dynamo. Um, I can't remember what their name is now, Dynamo something, but um, I was sick. Match Vivi scored, Korea got a goal disallowed, and then we won, we bounced back with a 7 1 win against Gildani in the cup. Hideki, Korea, Songmin, Korea again, Oliveira, Oliveira again, and then Osset, Match Vivi. With the goal scorers and then we beat um Gagra 2-0. Nagera and Lomodaski scored. Um I'm liking this new lineup with Vitinho, Nagera and Song Min as well. I think they've just massively improved our team even more than we had already. So yeah, so we've got we've got this game coming off and then what I'm gonna do is fast forward through um most of these league games um and then because I want to try and get next episode is going to be about Georgia and the Georgia national team. Now, when it comes to Georgia and the Georgia national team, I got given my groups. Um, put it, tell us in here. Yeah. So the group I'm in is one hell of a group. It's got Poland, Portugal, and Turkey in it. I couldn't have asked for a harder. Group. Well, I mean, I could have got a harder group, but not far off. But we'll we'll get back to that afterwards in the next episode. Um, but anyway. So we've got a uh, regular-ish lineup similar to the one that we had last game played. Uh, Medpash Billy's playing though. Santos is playing. Alutz is playing. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it really. But yeah, what I'll do is I need to put this back on highlights. So what I'll do, as always, if I'm winning like 4-0 by half time, I will do commentary only for the last bit of the game. Um, as I said, we will probably dominate. We'll lose a couple of games because we're not completely at that point where we're dominating domestically, winning literally every game in the league. But we are pretty much winning nearly every game in the league, and we're gonna probably win the title. I will keep an eye on it towards the end, towards the the uh, last the end of the the last part of the season. So I might have to play more league games towards that to make sure I've got a keen eye on it. At the moment, we're doing all right. Um, but yeah, playing local rivals to feed uh, Torpedo. They are 
not far away from us. If they win this game, they'll probably be neck and neck on points with us and maybe goal difference. But we've also got Dilia to worry about as well. So we're not completely dominating, but I feel like we're on the right track. Beautiful bit of passing going on there. Finishing could have been better though. Actually, we we should be if we win this game, then we should be uh, we'll have twenty one points. So we'll we'll be like five points clear of Delia if they don't win their game. We'll have a comfortable ish lead, five points. Nice pass to Santis. Santis manages to get on top of that. Oh, we're going to get a blasted goal here. I thought it was going to be a volley there. No, he nicely tucked it into the bottom corner. Santis with the beautiful pass to set up um, Kalinansky. Did I pronounce that right? Kalinansky. 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 There you go. Oh. Let's see if we can extend our lead in the second half. We're not dominating us as much as uh, expected. We've still got a chance of getting back in this game, but if we get another goal, then that helps. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Eloridzi, the goal. 2-0 to us, pretty much game over now, I reckon. Yeah, 21 points, 5 points clear of Dilia. Uh, they are a main competition at the moment. We'll take off a few knackered players by the looks of it. Good interception there by Gog. Ruben Oliveira. Nice passing going on here. Oh, unfortunate deflection off the player, but it's going to be Elutzi's goal. 3 0. Definitely game over now. Elutzi with his second goal of the game. Nagara. Oof, what a shot by him. Great save for their goalie. Keep them in the game. Oliveira now with the corner. Floats it up. Oh, look at that. That would have been a. Great goal if that went in that over a kick. You love to see it. They should do more of them on FM because they're just they're just so beautiful to watch. They don't happen very often on FM though. Alerty. Nice cross. Beautiful header. Good save by the keeper. I think it might have hit the bar, I don't know. No, the post. Right, so I think this is gonna end 3 0. Corner. Nagera driven in, good header by uh, Korea. Good save by the goalie. Yeah, it's going to end. 3 0. Lovely juggly. Nice way to end the episode. Right then, on that note, I will be back tomorrow with another episode where we will um, see how far we can get with the Georgia national team in the Euros. And that's it really, don't much else to say. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you like this. If you don't like the new way I'm doing things where I don't show you as many domestic games, let me know in the comment section. I will take on board what you're saying and go back to how it was before. Um, I'm just trying to do what other FM YouTubers are doing, like work for space. He doesn't play every game. So yeah, anyway, on that note, I'll be back soon. See you tomorrow.